Hey friend, welcome back. Today's a very important day. Today, it finally happened. For those who don't know, I've been sharing a lot on this channel lately about how things have changed for me and my life and, and this channel just a little bit. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, I'll bring you up to speed. For a lot of you, this might be a video that interests you in many different ways, but also maybe motivates you, uh, inspires you, if you will. Now, what am I talking about? Well, today, literally right now, when this video launched, I launched a roastery, a coffee roastery. Now, let me unpack this, because that's, that's a big thought. Now, I've been working for the past half a year on building a company, a company that can deliver delicious coffees that I love. Now, it's actually this right here, September Coffee Company. I don't really get to have these conversations with all of you often, so we're gonna pull the curtain back a little bit more on my life today. Talk a little bit more about why I even did this, what this is gonna look like, how this is gonna be maybe different from other business models out there. Not better, but different. But why don't we first watch the Kickstarter video so that we can all be on the same page. Also, the Kickstarter's linked down below if you just wanna jump ahead and go to that. You can do that. If not, you can keep watching. Hey, I'm Natasha. And I'm Kyle. And we are September Coffee Company. Now, we're launching a micro coffee roastery in the capital of Canada, Ottawa. We believe that coffee can be so much more than a quick pick me up in the morning or just a caffeine fix. We actually think it's a craft full of quality and creativity and community. Now, fun fact, if you didn't know, this coffee has over 900 volatile aromic compounds. That sounds intense, but really that's actually double as many as wine, which is widely known as a very complex beverage. Most people view it as something a little ordinary or maybe even boring, and that's probably because most people haven't experienced the coffee that's worth getting excited about. And we wanna help with that. We wanna make sure that September never sacrifices quality over quantity. We are going to be sourcing our coffee from reputable importers who are in close relationship with the farmers or from farmers directly themselves. Uh, we believe that this is the most pure and ethical way to source coffee. Yeah, this allows the farmers to be paid a fair wage. It allows us to be in direct relationship with said farmer mm -hmm. and it allows them to continue to put money back into producing and producing even better quality coffee going forward. Now we're also a small batch roaster, so that means all of our coffees are roasted to order. So that means when you order from this Kickstarter or in the future with September, all of our coffees will be roasted within one week of order and shipped directly after roasting. So why a Kickstarter? Well, we could have done this many different ways, but we do need some more money to be able to cross the finish line. Now, most of the funds that we are needing are going towards green inventory or raw coffee or unroasted coffee. And that is gonna be very important to us. We wanna ensure that in community, which is one of our core values, we can found this company with all of you. And it's gonna be impossible to do so with without your help. Now, again, like I said, a lot of these funds are going to, at least the majority of these funds are gonna be going to coffee farmers and producers, which we're really excited about with this Kickstarter. Now, in return, you're gonna be able to experience some of our coffee before anybody else does. Experience some coffees are gonna be incredibly limited and also get some limited merch that we thought was really cool to do. We really believe in September Coffee Company and we really believe in this industry as a whole of specialty coffee. And so would you join us? Thank you so much. Honestly, we're so grateful for the community that uh, we've been a part of already. We're so excited to get to know you and we cannot wait to get a bag of our coffee into your hands as soon as possible. Come on, come on. We're excited about it. We're, we really are. It's it's an exciting moment for our lives. So again, if you wanna check this out, the link's down below. And obviously if you're not interested, that's totally cool. So let's talk about this. Uh, this is September. Now, are we claiming this is gonna be the best coffee roastery? Definitely not. Are we claiming this is gonna be revolutionary? It's something like that. We're watching this company to be a company that roasts coffees that we love with no external pressures from investors or a big market share where we feel like we have to do certain things to kind of fit a mold. We don't want to do that. September is all about sharing coffees that we really love. Now we're gonna do that in a few ways. Now the way we're gonna approach this is we're gonna be doing two series, now two umbrellas if you will, and under those will be a bunch of different coffees. Now under the first umbrella is gonna be the Storm series. And Storm is gonna be coffees that are traditional, very classic in profile, that are very approachable. They're very familiar for the masses. Those are coffees that are very sweet and have a 
slightly more developed profile than our shower series. These are gonna be mostly third wave, well, all third wave light, lighter roast, but relative to that. And it's gonna be coffees that have sweets that remind us of chocolates and caramels and nuts. They're gonna be good with milk if you like espresso, and these are gonna be the coffees that we recommend to most people for espresso. They're good, they're comfortable, and like a storm, you know, when you wanna cozy up by the fire, they're just that kind of coffee. Now, on the flip side, we have shower. And that's the other umbrella where we find these coffees to be incredibly exciting, a little more adventurous, and definitely more modern. Now these are coffees that are more fruity and more vibrant and sometimes more acid forward. These are coffees that are gonna be slightly less developed, but not always. And sometimes these coffees won't work well with milk, but sometimes they absolutely will, just depending on the coffee. And we will list all of those things on the labels and on our website. Now also, we're gonna be doing only single origin coffees. Now there's nothing wrong with blends. I think blends can be absolutely incredible, especially if somebody knows what they're doing and creating blends, they can be fantastic. But to be honest, I truly just enjoy the beauty of the single origin. I think there's something beautiful in having the name of a farmer on the front of a bag or this, this lot or this farm creates this profile of coffee. I think that's a beautiful thing. Now for a Kickstarter, we're doing some incredible coffees. We're doing coffees in our storm series from the Terra Farms in, in Brazil. The coffee specifically, the lot that we're doing is called Blossom. It's absolutely incredible. We're also doing a natural Salvadorian that is sweet and it's chocolatey, but it's also got some juiciness to it. It's just an absolutely delicious coffee. On the flip side for our shower series, we're doing a bright and floral and tea-like Guatemalan. And we're also doing a Washi Ethiopian from Geisha Village called Chaka. We also have four other coffees en route from Origin, including a natural Rwandan. We have some Wash Kenyans. And then we also have other coffees from Peru that we're really excited to share. So that's the interesting thing. With roasting, you cannot add quality. All you can do is subtract. So I think it's a fascinating craft to be able to pull the most potential out of said coffee. I love that. I love seeing something and pulling potential out of it. And what does the future look like for September? Well, we have a beautiful plan in the works and we have some incredible ideas and Natasha and I are dreaming. But for now, we're gonna continue to roast some incredible coffees as long as we can get this Kickstarter funded because that's truly gonna be the foundation for this roastery. So then why, why a Kickstarter? And that would be a fair question. And we could have approached this in many different ways, but we decided that this was the best approach to stick to our values as a company. You see, we had investors approach us and we had many people interested in backing the company and pushing us forward in exchange for equity or insight or mentorship in the company. And what we were learning real quick was that we were losing what we truly valued within September and that was roasting and sharing coffees that we absolutely love. And so we're excited, it, absolutely. And, and in fact, when you go to the Kickstarter, if you check it out, there's different things like coffees that you can order. There's limited merch, uh, sweaters and hats and, cool things where there's there's a hoodie with the signatures of some of the backers on the back. The backers on the back is what we're calling it. I think it's pretty cool. If you wanna check that out, they're super limited. And a lot of these items are, including even the coffees that we're serving for Kickstarters. It's basically gonna last Kickstarter and not past it for most of these coffees. So now our Kickstarter has a goal and that goal is fairly low. I mean, considering what it takes to launch a roastery because right, this Kickstarter isn't the thing that's actually funding our whole roastery, but it's the thing that's getting us past the finish line. But if I'm honest, the goal is is the floor. It's the bare minimum of what we need to launch this company and this roastery into the future. What I'm trying to do here today is show you me this is this is a company that I've invested a lot of time and energy and focus on and truly it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me to be a part of this industry in such a way where I can make just such a small impact. Because not too long ago, I was like you, watching YouTube videos about coffee, staying up late researching about espresso machines, learning everything I could on home forums. Yet here I am with an audience that I truly don't feel I deserve, launching a coffee company to serve coffee to all of you. It's an incredible place to be in. And I'm grateful and I'm thankful for each one of you. So thank you for supporting every single video and comment and like and all of that stuff. It's crazy, it's absolutely crazy. And, and what's next? Well, I will continue to learn to be the best roaster that I can be and uh, best business owner and best boss and all of those things. Um, best husband and best father to my wife and kids. I hope to be the best YouTuber I can be. Probably will never be the best YouTuber by any chance. Thank you for listening. Uh, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your time today. But before I go, I hope that I've inspired you a little bit today. 
go out and chase your dreams. Don't be afraid of what people might think because that's often what holds us back. So go do it. And if you need any inspiration or any thoughts or any advice, I, I will be hanging out down below in the comments. So, so do that. Also, before you go, check out these bags. These are soft touch materials and uh, we just absolutely love this design. This is an artist named Primo in the States. He, he drew all of this by hand. So every part of the bag is all uh, hand-drawn art and uh, absolutely beautiful. That's me on a boat, uh, roasting on an alio bullet on the back, which I'm not roasting for September on, um, but you know, you, you can't take a, a Diedrich IR-12 on a boat. So there you go. Love every single one of you guys. Peace.